Hi viewers, welcome to ChemEasy. In this video, let us see the classification of anti-hyperlipidemic agents. Before watching this video, subscribe ChemEasy to learn chemistry easily. Before going to classification, a small introduction about hyperlipidemia. Hyperlipidemia is abnormally elevated levels of any or all lipids or lipoproteins in the blood. This is often due to diet and lifestyle. Prolonged elevation of insulin levels can also lead to an abnormal amount of lipids in the blood. Hyperlipidemia are divided into primary and secondary subtypes. Primary subtype is usually due to genetic causes while secondary subtype arises due to other underlying causes such as diabetes. Lipid and lipoprotein abnormalities are common in the general population and are regarded as modifiable risk factors for cardiovascular diseases due to their influence on atherosclerosis. In addition, some forms may predispose to acute pancreatitis. Also, hyperlipidemia may be idiopathic that is without a known cause. They are also classified according to which types of lipids are elevated that is hypercholesterolemia, hypertriglyceridemia or both in combined hyperlipidemia. Now let us see what are anti-hyperlipidemic agents. Serum cholesterol levels above 240 mg per deciliter and triglyceride levels above 150 mg per deciliter are associated with atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is a disorder in which lipid deposits accumulate on the lining of the blood vessels, eventually producing degenerative changes and obstruction of blood flow. It is considered to be a major contributor in the development of heart disease. Triglycerides and cholesterides are insoluble in water and must be bound to a lipid containing protein that is lipoprotein for transportation throughout the body. LDL that is low density lipoprotein transport cholesterol to the peripheral cells. When the cells have all of the cholesterol they need, the excess cholesterol is discarded into the blood. This can result in an excess of cholesterol which can penetrate the walls of the arteries resulting in atherosclerotic plague formation. Elevation of LDL increases the risk for heart disease. HDL that is high density lipoprotein take cholesterol from the peripheral cells and bring it to the liver where it is metabolized and excreted. The higher the HDL level, the lower the risk of development of atherosclerosis. HDL cholesterol protects against heart disease. So the higher the numbers, the better. An HDL level less than 40 mg per deciliter is low and considered a major risk factor for heart disease. Lowering blood cholesterol levels can arrest or reverse atherosclerosis in the vessels and can significantly decrease the incident of heart disease. Primarily the cholesterol level controlled by therapeutic life changes that is TLC. This includes a cholesterol lowering diet, physical activity, quitting, smoking and weight management. If TLC does not result in bringing blood lipids to therapeutic levels, one of the anti-hyperlipidemic drugs added in the treatment plan. These drugs use it to lower serum levels of cholesterol and triglycerides. In case of poor response with one drug, more than one drug used. Now let us go to the classification of anti-hyperlipidemic agents. First class is HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors. These are called as statins. Drugs under statins are lovastatin, simvastatin, mevastatin, pravastatin, fluvastatin, atorvastatin, itavastatin and rosuvastatin. Second class is 
fibric acid derivatives that is ppa or alpha agonists drugs are clofibrate phenofibrate zemfibrozil ciprofibrate and benzofibrate third one is bile acid sequestrants drugs under this category is cholestyramine and cholestipol fourth one is ldl oxidation inhibitor drug is probucol fifth class is pyridine derivatives drugs under pyridine derivatives are nicotinic acid and nicotinamide sixth one is cholesterol absorption inhibitors drug in this category is ezetimibe and last one is miscellaneous agents under this beta cytosterol and dextrothyroxine under statins that is hmg coa reductase inhibitors this is the structure of lower statin and this one is simmer statin structure this one is the structure of aterostatin and this one is rosuvastatin then the second category fibric acid derivatives under this this one is the structure of clofibrate and this is phenofibrate this is the structure of benzofibrate and zemfibrozil under bile acid sequestrants this is the structure for cholestipol and this one is cholestyramine this is the structure of probucol coming under the category of ldl oxidation inhibitor under the category of pyridine derivatives this is the structure of nicotinic acid and this one is nicotinamide this is the structure of ezetimibe coming under the category of cholesterol absorption inhibitors and the last category miscellaneous agents under this this is the structure of beta cytosterol and this one is dextrothyroxine if you like this video share with your friends and subscribe chemizy